Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yes, today is two for Tuesday. I figured since I haven't uploaded in a while, might as well do two for today. That doesn't mean that it might be my last one this week. I don't know. I might do one more. Depends on how busy I get this week. I have a lot going on, especially with the new channel. So, you know, getting it up off the ground and all, but I'm not going to forget about you guys and I'm not going to neglect this channel. It is my first channel. It's still going to be my primary channel. So I'm just going to do part time on both anyways. So I was working on this one earlier and then I saw the fraud or troll did the same video. So I'm sorry, fraud or troll. Uh, I'm going to upload as well. But between both of our commentary, yours is the better photo or the ve the better video. By far, you have the best commentary. Anyways, Regan Benson. Shall we say anything more about her? So she's in Ingle Inglewood again. And it's like, why is she even going back there other than to cause problems? And she sees the security guard now. I know the only reason she went there was to go and harass the security guards that are there. She's so, her feelings were so hurt by everything that they said to her last time that she has to go back because she's a glutton for punishment. And she tries her hardest. You know, you got to give her credit for trying. She tries to, I don't know, hurt the security guard's feelings or put him in his place. And it, technically, it backfired on her. Enjoy the video. Well, basically what we have at the beginning here is she's in Inglewood, she goes into the building, starts asking questions or whatever, and then she runs into, um, I guess it's a homeless couple, and they're talking about, you know, that they're getting wet because of the rain and everything, and, and she's telling them, oh, I can get you, I can give you two Dollar General gift cards, go there and see if they have any tarps, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I don't have any Walmart ones. They're like, oh my God, you're so great. Thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, come on. We all know how Regan really feels about the homeless. We've seen it. If you haven't, it will be in this video. But, yeah. So that's not enough for her for a video. Because nobody wants to see her interacting with the homeless. They want to see the real Regan Benson. So, of course, she spots one of the uh, security guards and beelines right for him. Say hi to Alex. Thank you. How's it going, Alex? Yeah? You greeting everybody nicely today? You want to blow me any kisses? Huh? Why did you do that yesterday? I was, it, was, it wasn't for you. It was for the camera. It was for the camera. Yeah. You probably won't, uh, should have specified that because I could really construe that as sexual harassment. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Are you being a smart ass? Or? I am. I love this guy. Really? When you blow someone kisses and you've got an allied universal outfit on and you're blowing me kisses, that definitely can be construed as sexual harassment. And you're lucky that I didn't call your company and file a sexual harassment claim on you. I wish I blew you kisses. You just admitted that you did it, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> no, what he admitted to doing was blowing kisses into the camera. To the camera. Not at you, Regan. I know that hurt your feelings the moment he said it had it wasn't to you, but it was to your camera. Because your whole demeanor literally changed the minute he said that he was his blowing of kisses was not for you. It wasn't directed at you. It was directed at the camera. Your whole demeanor changed. So, I mean, I don't understand how anybody would desire you other than your husband, though I still believe he might be suffering from Stockholm Syndrome, but since I don't know him, I can't say that and, you know, anything really any further about it. However, yeah, no, he was blowing kisses into the camera and you cannot sexually harass a camera, can you? No, didn't think so. I don't think cameras were involved in the Me Too movement. 
I didn't. You need to grow the fuck up. You need to grow the fuck up. You need to grow the fuck up. And I'm gonna. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She, he, she's telling him that he needs to grow up. That he's the one that needs to grow up. Really? Because she's the one that walks around getting her feelings hurt. And because her poor Fifi's are hurt, she's going to pull out her camera and start cussing and throwing a toddler tantrum and stomping her feet and yelling and screaming. And, oh, my God, they said this or they wouldn't let me do this or they told me no. My God, you tell her no. And it's like a two year old on massive steroids. It's insane. But yet she's telling him that he's the one that has to grow up. Oh, please. Mm -mm -mm. Tell you next fucking time Not you Reagan. do that, I'm going to call your company. I didn't do it to Reagan. I did it for y'all. <laughs> How come you can't pronounce my name right? And why are you calling me by my first name? It's Miss Benson. Regan, Reagan. Mm, no, sorry. Regan, Reagan, whatever your name is. I call you Regan. I guess that's the way it's pronounced. So, okay. But technically, if you're going to call somebody Mrs. Benson, it's a form of respect. And, well, clearly he doesn't respect you. Because there's no reason to respect you. So, yeah. You can't force somebody to call you Mrs. Benson. Or Mrs. Regan Benson. Because, well, there's no respect. Sorry. It's Miss Benson to you. You little punk ass bitch. You immature little fucking punk. You're lucky that I'm not your mom. You are very fucking lucky. Very lucky. Regan, you're calling him immature, yet you are the only one name calling. Do you not see the hypocrisy in this? You've started yelling, name calling, cussing, having a tantrum, and you're telling him to grow up and you're calling him immature. Do you watch your own videos back before you upload them? Because the hypocrisy is so deep in this, you need a shovel to get out of it. And... <laughs> oh my god, where was I going with that? There was... Oh, she just said something else, too. Hold on. To you, you little punk-ass bitch. You immature little fucking punk. You're lucky that I'm not your mom. Regan, I can tell you for a fact, <clears throat> every child in this world, like I'm talking the entire planet, every child alive right now and every child in utero right now is lucky that you are not their mother. <laughs> oh my God. My mother... <clears throat> was a good mother. She took care of us, you know, along with my dad in the army and everything. She put up with a lot of stuff. Was she the most affectionate person? No. Was she loving all the time? No. I would take a mother who showed no affection whatsoever my entire life over Regan Benson as my mother. I mean, could you imagine the emotional and mental trauma a child would go through having her as a mother. Oh my goodness. I've never seen or met her kids. I don't think they've even been on camera. Um, if they're very well behaved and upstanding, it's because they're scared shitless of her. Like you're not supposed to be that scared of your parents. Yes, you should have fear. You should always put some little bit of fear into your children so that they behave correctly. But... Not to the point where I'm pretty sure at some point in life, if she were my mother, her nickname would have become Satan. So, yeah, everyone is quite lucky and grateful that you are not their mother. I you are very fucking lucky. Very lucky. Yes, you are. Because if you were my son, you wouldn't be fucking acting like this right now. Right. Guaranteed. Sure, yeah. Where's your proof? 
If they're so great. Go meet my kids. Go meet my kids. Maybe you could take your uniform off for them. Huh? Since you boys like to take your uniforms off and yeah, fight and people? Huh? Wait, so now she's telling him he can go meet her boys. And when he does that, he can take off his uniform and fight them. So that is Regan stating, plain out, that her boys are pretty much as bad as she is. That's sad. That is really, really sad. Okay, well, it's not surprising, but it's still sad. Weird. No, thank you. I'm going to keep my uniform on. Then why are you threatening to fight with people? When? Huh? When? Wait, huh? Who was threatening to fight people? Regan, you might want to rewind that. You're the one who told him to go meet your boys because they would fight him. Not one time did this guy ever mention fighting anybody. That was you. You're the one threatening him with your boys. You are now using your children to threaten a young person with violence. And then you want to bring it and say that he's the one threatening? Again, do you not go back and rewatch your videos before you upload them? I'm going to guess that's a big fat no. I can't believe you stupid little bitches still have a job. You're fucking scum of society right now. Yeah, right. And that's all that Allied can is this find. Job? Is this your job? It is my job so to expose around. government waste. And you are a prime example of government waste. Well, you're waste in general, so. <laughs> yeah? General waste. Uh huh. I'm a general waste. <laughs> he just said she's a waste in general. Oh my God, I love this. And you are a prime example of government waste. Well, you're waste in general, so. <laughs> yeah? General waste. Uh huh. I'm a Sorry, I had to play it again. That is so funny. Wow. I mean, this, this kid has not missed a beat. Regan has met her match. She has met somebody who can she cannot put in his place, but he damn sure put her in her place. I like total kudos to this guy, Alex. Absolutely. By the way, Regan, you might want to look it up, but the company he works for is not a government agency. It is a private agency. So that just threw everything you were saying right out of the water. General waste. Paying your fucking wages, stupid little bitch. Like I said, I'd like a little more than whatever. Again, you don't pay his wages. Been paid, so don't get paid enough by Allied. Huh? Not to deal with you. Allied doesn't pay you enough. <laughs> Not to deal with you. Not to deal with which me, which you. Not to deal with you. You got any basic English language skills? No, it's it's twenty twenty three. Times a little different. People talk a little different than. Wait, did she just say? Do you have any basic English English language skills? Oh, Regan. Also, do you have any basic English grammar skills? I mean, every other word out of your mouth is the F word. Usually, and I'm just going on, you know, experience from watching other people. I, people watch pretty much my whole life. You, you know, you see me sitting there. It looks like I'm reading a book, but I'm actually just sitting there like studying people, learning them. And most of the time, people who cuss a lot, like it's all they do, every other word or every three words in one whole sentence is the F word or shit or something like that. I'm going to use the F word though, because she, she seems to throw that out way too much. Usually does not have a very extensive vocabulary. So they use the F word in place of words that they could have used, but were not intelligent enough to figure that out or intelligent enough to know what word to use. So they just keep throwing the F word out there. And Regan, 
she inhales and exhales the word fuck over and over and over. It is her basic vocabulary is every cuss word in the book. But yet she wants to make fun of how he speaks. He has not cursed. He has not called her any names. And no, saying she's a waste of anything is not calling her names. He has conducted himself in a very well manner. While Miss Regan here has done nothing but behave like a toddler. Wherever you came from, the 40s or 30s or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) So basically after Regan gets her daily fix of harassing and yelling and cussing at somebody, she goes back to the two homeless people. Um, From what I gathered, they were brother and sister. I'm not sure. They were very, very sweet. Um, Very nice very kind people oh wow and they ran into her anyways so now she's gonna go into her car and she's not done with her tantrum yet okay so that's that's how those encounters happen I'm I'm really, I'm really getting sick of this shit with Allied. I really am. Wait, did she say that's how encounters happen? I'm really getting sick of Allied. Um, he was just sitting there doing his job. You are the one who walked up to him and started just going off. So if you're sick and tired of stuff like this, or you're tired of interactions like this, why don't you just go along with your business and not provoke an incident, which technically you didn't even get that out of him. I think that's what has Regan so pissed off right now is she didn't get from him what she wanted, which was either him cowering down and apologizing over and over or a complete blow up like she was doing. She didn't get either one of those. So I think that's what pisses her off the most right now is that she just did not get the reaction she was wanting. But normal people, when they're out amongst society, they don't go around looking for interactions like this. Only Regan. Regan lives for it. I'm pretty sure that she can't sleep at night unless she goes out that day and has some kind of blow up on somebody. Like... It's normal for her. It's like an addict who's addicted to drugs. She's addicted to screaming and going off the handle every single day. She needs it. It's like oxygen for her. It's sad and pathetic, but she's just angry because it didn't go the way she wanted it to go. But we're just going to keep showing it. We are. Because those little bitches are harassing these folks. And that's exactly... Wait, who are they harassing? I didn't see Alex one time say anything to the homeless people. And the only one I saw harassing anybody was Regan harassing Alex. So I, what is she talking about? Is like She's got some movie playing in her head, and it's, she's acting it out as it's in her head, but with, within reality, where the rest of us are, that's not what it is. What was about to transpire when I saw that guy sitting there. <laughs> the fuck? Um, um, <laughs> if they need to come out of the rain and use the restroom, so be it. <laughs> okay, but where again... Did Alex say anything to them? He was just sitting there. You walked up to him and you started harassing him. So what are you talking about? Are you are you going for being Chalita? I mean, like, making up narratives in your mind and claiming that's what happened? Because that's not what happened. 
I mean, if, if that's what happened, it wasn't with Alex. Alex was just sitting there. You walked up to him. You went and engaged with him. You went and acted like a toddler with him. And then he walked away. Like a mature adult would do that thing that you claim to be and that you claim he is not, even though the roles are completely reversed in this video. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> there are people on foot everywhere, everywhere. It is, um, it is a crisis and we're ignoring it. Okay. We're, we're just ignoring it. You're going to have to deal with it at some point yourself. All of you, everybody watching, everybody mocking me, um, all of these rotten ass cops, everybody, all of society is going to be faced with dealing with homelessness. Embrace it like that. Wait, huh? Did Regan just say that every single person alive is going to have to deal with being homeless? Um, yeah, I don't think that's within reality, but okay, that's what you think. They're hurting no one. Be kind, yet firm. Stand your ground when you know it's the right thing to do. Wait, did she just say be kind? So what is Regan's definition of being kind? Or wait, is she talking about homeless people? If you're homeless, be kind and stand your ground and stick up for yourself, blah, blah, blah. Or is she talking about her, like us being kind? I'm, I'm not sure. So I didn't get to finish my stories, you guys. They're, yeah, those allied employees are way worse than the pigs. They're way worse. Yeah, because he was just sitting there until some psycho lady came up on him and started going off. Yeah, he's so way worse. Oh, no. Poor Alex. Um, yeah. Regan wants to claim she get, she cares so much about the homeless. And I have a video that pretty much shows how much she is concerned for the homeless. And she claims that she does all these wonderful things for them. Well, I have a video here that shows you how well she treats the I'm being a bitch because you guys are making it hard on everybody. Really? That's all. But anyway, I was just here to tell you that we're having dinner time. for Zaina because she's going home. So there's plenty of food for everyone. So make sure you come eat. And sometimes you just got to hear it, Doreen. It's just the way it goes. I walked no 10 feet face. and started Thank talking you. shit. Yeah, you should talk shit to my face. Oh, I got no problem talking shit to your face, girlfriend. I don't, I don't have uh, permission to be up. Oh, here. yes, you do. Because no, you're in public. No. Yeah, that's how it works. No. You can videotape me. I can I, I can record anything I can see from public. No, it's not illegal. Call the cops. I will call the cops. Call them. You're I, harassing us every day. Call them. Call them. Call them. They'll come. So go away. Your mouth is as big as your ass. Get out of here. I don't do see this is this is the heroin this is the heroin talking oh no I don't do heroin oh yes you do no, and that guy that's in your camper shooting up right now he doesn't make sure you're just making yeah. things harder for yourself not making shit harder for me it's yeah harder for you no actually it's not it's not so never never mind don't come and eat with us I don't want to. we don't need your toxicity and we certainly don't need all the heroin users at the barbecue. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway. I'm against your bullshit. That's what I'm against. Yeah, I'm against your bullshit. I will advocate for your right to survive any day. But your bullshit yeah, is part of the problem out here. No, don't you get that? So this is Bitch. Do you see all your trash? Well, wait a minute. You accused me of walking away from 
from you and talking shit. I walk yeah. away and now you start talking shit. And you said you didn't want to be on camera. I want to spit in your face. You want to spit in my face? Dude, that's what I feel. It's like. assault. Yeah, it's a soul. Did, did I? So go away. So okay, go away. I'm gonna go away. To you, you don't. Here. You don't, don't want to talk to me anymore. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to go back. Okay, heroin queen. Oh wait, I'm sorry, people. My bad. That was how she really feels about the homeless. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I thought I had a video of her treating them so wonderfully and caring so much about them as she claims but then she uploads a video of how she really treats them when they don't bow down to her as if she's some kind of queen of the homeless and I mean it's really sad just because you help somebody out does not mean that they have to treat you like you're the best person in the world they don't they could be appreciative they could be grateful but they sure as hell don't have to bow down to you and treat you like you're some kind of queen. And that's what she expects. See, there's people who care about the homeless and who take care of the homeless and help them for selfless reasons. And those people don't have to go around recording it. Because they're not doing it for people to see that they're doing it. They're doing it because they care. And then there's people who go around and they record it and claim over and over how much they care about the homeless and how much they want to help the homeless. But then you treat them like shit also just because they don't agree with you on something. I mean, what was it she was telling Alex, grow up, you're immature, but yet she couldn't even walk away from a homeless lady who was talking like, who cares what she was saying about you, Regan? Who cares if she was saying anything behind your back as you walked away? An adult would continue walking. A child would turn around and keep engaging. That's what you did. Because you can't stand for anybody to say anything negative about you. Because you yourself think you are this high, high and mighty queen who does these amazing, wonderful things and everybody should treat you that way. But yet, you let your guard down for one moment, and the real you comes out. And that's pretty much every time you pick up your phone and start recording. It's sad. It really is sad. Because the homeless really do need somebody out there advocating for them. Not being against them. Just because they're not treating you the way you think you deserve to be treated. It just... it breaks my heart to see her talking to them like that. Why? Because she was talking about you as you walked away? Who cares? Walk away. Continue walking. At some point, you're not going to hear her running her mouth anymore. So who cares? And according to this lady, they're tired of you harassing them and always putting them on camera. So obviously... This wasn't the only time you've treated them like shit. It's a shame. It really is a shame. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know Predator Troll put one out on the same video. I I, I promise you, his is going is always going to be way better than mine. Anyways, but I had already started working on this, and then I saw his, and I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to scrap it. I'm going to go ahead and continue, finish it, upload it, because I haven't uploaded for you guys for a week, and I want to give you at least something. And this was actually quite refreshing, rather than doing another chili video, even though it is Regan. Uh, it was still more refreshing than another chili video. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Be safe. I love each and every one of you.